What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to talk about a proficiency that I feel is quite underrated in Call of Duty Vanguard, and this is the Frenzy Proficiency. Now with this, if you read the in-game description for it, it says that you get health regeneration after kills, which is a very vague description, just like a lot of the descriptions for attachments and proficiencies in this game. So I wanted to put this to the test to see just how much of a difference this actually makes in your healing time after getting a kill. Now before we do that, let's just go over the weapons that this is currently available on. For the SMGs, this is available on the Sten, as well as the M1928 Thompson. For assault rifles, it's on the Automaton, as well as the NZ-41. For shotguns, we've got it on the Combat Shotgun, as well as the Gracie Auto. For LMGs, only the MG-42 has access to this. And then finally, for sniper rifles, the Car 98 has access to Frenzy. And now that we have that covered, let's just have a look at our healing times. And of course, we're going to start it off with the baseline heal time. This is without using Frenzy. And in this clip, just pay attention to my HP value in the bottom right, since I'm using Codcaster here. And you'll notice that that HP value sits at 17 for a full 5 seconds. It's actually a little bit more than 5 seconds, but with frame rounding and everything like that, I'd be willing to bet this is coded at 5 seconds. So that's how long it takes for you to start the healing process. And then, of course, there is a healing process after that that will take you up to full health. But I first wanted to isolate this delay before you even start healing. Now let's have a look at what happens with Frenzy, and this happens very, very quickly. As you can see here, from the moment I get the kill, it takes me 100 milliseconds before I start healing. This is nearly instant, and this really shows the potential power of the Frenzy perk. Instead of waiting five seconds to start the healing process, which means if you're in a situation where you otherwise could push, you're probably gonna have to hold up, maybe get a reload in, and just wait for that healing to begin for five seconds. With Frenzy, you essentially immediately start that healing process, so you can get back in the fight nearly instantly. However, of course, this isn't the entire healing process. This is just how long it takes you to start the healing process. Now, I just wanted to see if Frenzy also helps with how long it takes you to go from, in this example at least, 17 health up to 100 health once that healing process starts. And without Frenzy, going from 17 health up to 100 health will take about 2.5 seconds. And then with Frenzy, again, it's about 2.5 seconds. In my examples, it appeared a little bit faster, but like I said, there are some inconsistencies with frame rounding and things. And since I am using the Codcaster view here, there might even be a little bit of latency involved. So with that in mind, I would consider these to be effectively equal at about 2.5 seconds. So Frenzy absolutely helps a lot when it comes to triggering the healing process, but it doesn't help you heal up any faster once you start healing. In either case, I still feel that instant trigger of the healing process is incredibly valuable in this game, especially if you tend to be an aggressive player and you don't want to be held back by that healing time taking forever when you win a gunfight but take damage from that gunfight. So if you guys haven't really given Frenzy a shot yet and you just sort of write it off as not as good as the other proficiencies, you may want to give it a try if you happen to be using one of these guns that has access to the Frenzy proficiency because it's actually pretty incredible. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's really quick breakdown on the Frenzy Proficiency. Of course, I'd like to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Now that you see how the Frenzy Proficiency works, do you think this is a very powerful proficiency? And do you see yourself changing some of your class setups to include this? Or do you still feel that there are just better options for these particular guns? Just let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.